hi guys welcome back to our youtube channel so in today's video we are going to discuss about the modern activities uh, in ui path so in the modern activities we will be specifically focusing on the excel activities for as of now later on we will cover all the other modern activities as well so in today's video we will cover how we can use the read range or write range activity to read the data from the uh, excel using the modern activities and how we can apply the filter in the excel file as well so with this without wasting any time let's get started all right so we are in the uipath studio now here first of all i'll show you how you can enable the modern design experience there are two ways to enable the modern design experience one is to enable it at the studio level and second one is to enable it at the project level so let me just show you how you can enable it at the pro, uh, studio level you have to go to the settings then you have to go to the design inside the design you have the design style inside the design style you'll see there is an option use modern for new project so this toggle button you have to make it as yes and this way this uh, modern design experience will be enabled at the project level now if you will create any new project that will be converted into the uh, modern design experience and second option is to enable it at the project level you have to go to the project you have to go to the project panel in the project panel there is an option called settings project settings you will click on that project settings and in the general tab if you will come down here you can see we have the option as modern design experience same you have to enable this toggle button as yes so this way this a modern design experience will be enabled and you can use the modern activities same way if you will go to the activities and if i'll click on this filter you can see here we have the option called classic as well so if i'll click on the classic we will be able to use the classic activities as well in the modern design experience okay as of now we don't want this so i want to enable it okay now let's search for the excel activities in the activities panel here we will search for excel and as you can see in here multiple activities are available but we are not going to talk about all the activities today in the single video so we will discuss it uh, in the upcoming videos as well so let's uh, let us take this excel process scope uh, so what this excel process scope will do is it will help us to make the uh, connection between the uh, installed excel ms excel so that we can perform all the excel uh, actions which we we want to perform in the excel file and we have to use one more activities with the combination of this activity which is called use excel file activities so this use excel ex file activities will help us to handle that particular file and this excel process scope will help us to make the connection between the ms excel and the uipath studio so let us say we will select one file which we already have so this is the file which we already have okay and this reference excel reference we will be going to use throughout all the activities which will be uh, coming in the use excel file okay so and also if i'll show you the properties here you can see there are multiple properties are available for this excel so if i uh, you can see this default value is same as project for all the settings but we are having other options as well like display alert if any kind of display is coming we can make it as false and this is very powerful option like existing process section so we can directly kill any of the uh, excel process which is running already by using this force kill so in uh, uh, in the classic activities we have to use the kill activity before using in some time before using the excel uh, activities but here we already have the option to kill the excel process and uh, same way we have we are having multiple options over here we can explore it one by one so let's go to our topic here we will use the read range activity first of all to read that excel file so here either we can write the expression or if we do not want to write the expression what we can do over here is so i'll click on this plus button here you can see this is indicating some options i'll select the excel and in the excel we are having this sheet so we can select this sheet okay so i have selected this sheet 
from where we want to read the data and here i will uh, create a variable in which i want to store that data table so for that i already have created i think so okay let me create dt input all right so this variable we have created now if i'll show you what it has read is i'll pass this data table over here and i'll show you in the message box this data table all right let's create a string variable over here so i'll copy this string variable and pass it over here in the message box okay let's copy it str table let's paste it over here and let us run the code okay, i'll click on the debug soon it will uh, pop up a message box which will be having all the data available in that file all right this the execution has been started and the robot will soon read that file all right you can see here all the data is available so if let's click on the close button and this way the execution has been done and the file is closed okay uh, we have covered this message box inside this excel uh, use uh, excel file uh, that's why the file was not closed before uh, closing this message box oh, as soon as i clicked on the close message box this file has been closed so this is how we can uh, read the data from the excel file using the modern activities now let us say how we can uh, write this data to the other sheet okay so let us take the activity right write data table to excel all right so let's suppose we want to write it at sheet to uh, sheet to so as we do not have the sheet to we'll write it as sheet to and if we have to if we want to specify any range we can specify the range as well like if i want to write it at a1 a2 a3 or some other specific range we can specify over here and here we will pass our input dt okay i have to interchange these two values i have written the data table in the place of range and range in the place of data table so let me select it again i'll make it as two and the range let's remove the range I'll, it will write it at a1 okay so dt input all right so now let's run it and we'll see the output this what it will do is it will create one more sheet and add the data to that sheet okay the execution has started and it should create one more sheet so let's wait okay the sheet has created the data has been written and the file has been closed so let's go let's go here refresh it let's go to this folder in the data simple all right so okay you can see the sheet has been created over here in this excel file let me delete it i have deleted this sheet let's close it and save it now so let's suppose you are working on a project and in that you have to uh, and you are working on a project which belongs to some 
sales department okay and in the sales department there are multiple teams who are working on the particular SKUs. now you have to create a process which will uh, give the file to the uh, all the teams but uh, the data uh, it it will show you have to show the data related to their team only like you have to apply the filter and the filter should be there in your excel file so that anyone can apply the filter by itself and change the data as well so it is not like you have to filter out uh, that particular data and paste it to the excel you have to apply the filter in the excel itself so that filter will be available over there and anyone can change the value from that filter as well so in the classic uh, activities uh, what you have to do to perform this activity you have to create some macro and all but here no need to create the macro what you can do is you can take filter activity this filter activity so let's give the range so our range will be the sheet one all right and in the sheet one let's see we have what we have in the sheet one i think we have the column called segment so this segment we have okay so let's pass it over here in the column name and let's configure the filter we'll use the basic filter and we want to make the value as garment we want the garment data only so we'll make it as garment let's paste it over here and we can create advanced filter as well like uh, we can make it as uh, we can apply these much filter options over here but i'll go with the basic filter only so let's select basic and i'll click ok now this is done all right so let's comment out this right data table activity and close this file soon you will see uh, it will be like this filter will be applied over here and this data will be only garment so this this uh, this output will be available in this uh, excel file in the sheet one so this way anyone uh, like you have shared it with the garment segment so the garment segment can change this filter value and make it as enterprise only and they can see the data for the enterprise as well so as i told before uh, to perform these activities in the classic you have to use the some vbs code or some vba code or vb.net or shop code but here in the modern activities it is not like that you can apply the filter directly in the excel using some of the activities available in the ui path so let's unsave it and let's debug the code all right the execution has started you'll see the filter will be applied over here okay now the execution has been done let's open the file all right you can see the output as i told you what will be our output the garment segment only will be available and the filter will be there so you can change the filter or the department can the, can change the filter by itself and ch check the value for other segments as well so this is how we can apply the filter in the excel file